Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got warm reviews of the spring and summer bricks, as well as the two new Mother's Day bars right here. So I've also got a few other what I've been warming items in here as well. Um, there's a couple other items here that I did warm over the last week or so that didn't make it to the basket, only because my husband is home for spring break and he very kindly decided to clean out my Sensi office for me. Um, and so some things got put in places where they don't normally go. And so I'll just be thankful that my office was organized for me and um, try to remember what I warmed. So one of the things that I had warmed that I know didn't make it into this bin or got removed from the bin is Mint Fields from the Epcot bars. That is the only one of the Epcot bars that I've warmed so far. I don't intend to warm the Plumeria one. I, I, it's going to be a migraine bar for me. And the Rose one, I haven't been brave enough. And I'm also waiting for warmer weather because I really think the key with that one is going to be having the windows open and allowing the scent to breathe. So I'm waiting for warmer weather on that one, but I did warm mint fields in our bedroom, two cubes, and it was good. It was a nice solid medium. It lasted a full 24 hours, probably closer to 36. So it did nice performance wise. A lot of people were comparing it to Mojito Mambo. I do think they're quite similar. I do remember Mojito Mambo having a bit like, well, quite a bit more lime to it. Whereas Mint Fields is just that green note. I do think it's the same green note, but it's just the green note. None of the lime. And so it's a bit less sharp and a bit more soothing. I think it will mix nicer with other things than Mojito Mambo might have. And if I remember right, the time I did Mojito Mambo, it wasn't a long lasting performer. It was pretty strong out the gate and then didn't last very long. Whereas Mint Fields, I feel like was a more, I guess, stable performer and then it stayed like a nice medium for a longer time. So that was my thoughts on Mint Fields. I have clubbed it for the time being. I'm gonna order a few bars as well because I actually skipped my, my March shipment and I'm getting my next shipment in June. I want more Mint Fields before then. So I'm doing a one-time club order to get a couple more bars of that. And it's in my quarterly club as well for the time being. Um, okay, so we'll just start with the bricks and the Mother's Day warm reviews. And then I'll go into the other things that I warmed if you're interested in hanging around for that at the end. So we'll start with Mother's Day. These are the two Mother's Day scents that we have available April 1st. And these are available separately. They're not bundled or anything, so you can just pick up the one you want or you can get both, whatever you want to do. We have Blue Coconut Beach. And this one I think is like Lush Palm whipped, whipped Vanilla and like Coconut. This one is very pretty. And on cold, I really, really, really liked this. It reminded me a lot of Mountain Sunset. So I did two cubes in our bedroom. And this one has gone for days. I put this in Friday night. As I'm filming this, it is Monday night. It's gonna have to be changed now, but you can still get whiffs of it near the warmer. Um, somebody had commented asking me if I got vanilla waves from this at all. And I said, no, not really. I've changed my mind. <laughs> As this went on longer, by like the end of day two, so like last night, I was like, whoa, this is like vanilla waves. It was a, like the vanilla came back. So one thing I noticed about this scent, this one changed a lot along the journey. So you start out, put it in, coconut came out hard. Like it was all coconut all the time. And it was a fairly sharp, kind of almost plasticky to my nose coconut. I wasn't a big fan of this for the first day. Like honestly, it kept waking me up from sleep. And I was like, what is that? Like, I wish it would just go away. Um, and it wasn't my favorite. I powered through because I did, I did kind of like it. Like if I left the room and came back, I liked the scent. And it was just kind of a nice kind of sweet coconut with a bit of freshness or crispness to it. I really enjoyed it when I first walked in. Sleeping next to it was not my favorite. Something about that coconut, coconut note here just wasn't agreeing with me. Or maybe it was the way the fresh note was playing with the coconut note. I I'm not sure, but it wasn't my favorite. So then that was day one. Day two, this starts to really kind of smooth out. That vanilla note that's been gone completely now comes back into the picture. And we have some vanilla going on. That improves matters greatly to me. So I like the vanilla. That was kind of smoothing things out. It wasn't as like cloying or sharp anymore. That was quite nice. And again, we're at like maybe a light medium intensity at this point. So it went from medium to like light medium, but I preferred the scent at light medium. So we carry on. And again, day three today, it's been nice. You walk in, you smell like vanilla waves, <laughs> like that kind of nice kind of smooth, rich vanilla. Um, I would compare it to Vanilla Waves, but with coconut. Today, that fresh note is gone. Like I said, it's day three, the scent is kind of wrapping up. Um, but yeah, 
I've enjoyed this. Like it's been a weird journey. <laughs> Even at the end of day two, I wasn't sure if I would repurchase this or not. Like I can't decide if I like it. Um, sometimes I do like it and other times I don't. And that first day I did not care for this at all. But the next two days were quite nice. So this is one of those ones that's really hard to get a good read on for me. Um, it's rare for me to warm a scent for three days and not know where I stand with it. Um, I kind of liked it. Like I'm gonna melt it again. Am I gonna repurchase it? Probably not. Because I think for me, Mountain Sunset fills this gap in my collection and Mountain Sunset's in the catalog. So I think for me, this is a nice little detour. I'll enjoy what I have and I probably won't repurchase, but I can see how this is gonna be very popular. I think this is gonna be a widely appealing scent as long as you like coconut. And that might be another thing to keep in mind is I'm not the hugest coconut fan. I don't mind coconut, but it's gonna be a hard sell for me to love a coconut scent. Um, so if you are a big coconut fan, you need to try this. I think also if you are missing Vanilla Waves, give this a try. It's a bit of a Hail Mary, but keep it in for a while and see if you start getting Vanilla Waves from it towards the end because whoever commented that in one of my last videos, you're right. <laughs> I've changed my mind. You are right. Um, yeah, I quite like, like this on cold sitting here right now. But again, something about that coconut was a little sharp just initially on warm. But again, I think this is going to be widely appealing. If you're curious about this one, I would give it a try. I would say odds are that you're going to like it. Then we have Wildflower Cotton. This one I did two cubes in my office at home here. So this one, I think the notes were, what were they? Like wildflowers, woods, and lime dried cotton, and I think lemon. Yeah. So I think I stand by the smells like sandalwood tangerine. That existed on cold and that stayed the same on warm. Um, this has been about a medium scent in my office for two days now. It's still a medium at, at the two day mark now. Um, so the performance on this is very long lasting. This is a nice set it and forget it scent. It would be good for a bathroom for that reason. For bathrooms, I like a scent that you just put in and leave it for days. This seems to be one of those. Um, I think it would lend itself well to a bathroom. For me, this one is just not a scent that I personally prefer. It's not a migraine scent for me. It doesn't give me a headache, but it's just not a scent I prefer. And I think it would be helpful to tell you why that is. So like, I can say I don't like it, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna like it. So the thing for me here is that it has quite a woodsy element. It's almost like a cedar wood or like a sandalwood or somewhere in that family. And then you have a very citrusy lemon. Now I like lemon and I don't mind cedarwood sometimes, but combining them gives it a very sharp woodsy feel that I'm not really a fan of. I think it's that I don't like the, the lemon mixed with the woods note. So if that sounds nice to you and like a nice summery woodsy citrusy scent, then that's what this is. Um, does it lean masculine? I don't really think so. I would say unisex. I would say like unisex fragrance or like it smells expensive. It smells like walking into like, I'm not sure what store, maybe like a pottery barn or something like that. Something like fairly high end, but still approachable. Not like crazy high end, but like, you know, approachable. It smells a little bit fancy, a um, little bit like a store maybe. Like I like it, it's just not, it's just not my house. <laughs> That's all, it's just not my house. Um, so it's okay, it's just not one I need more of. And I would probably do this in bedrooms or bathrooms. And that was what, what that is what I would say to do with this one. But I will be quite fine with the six cubes I have left here. Then we have bricks in no particular order. We have Beach Daisy. This one I did in the open layout. I did two cubes cut in half, one half of the brick cube in each warmer. So two cubes total. Now I'll put the set notes below on this one. This smells to me like a nice balance on cold of like honeydew and is it apple and like a floral note very pretty balance kind of cozy kind of warm but very pretty and well blended so i put this in the warmers and it was nice it was a very pretty scent and for the first like three hours or so this was gorgeous like this was absolutely like beautiful like smelled exactly the same on warm as it did on cold for a few hours two or three hours then the fruits kind of died off. That apple note and the honeydew just kind of disappeared to maybe like 10% or less. And you were left with just a very pretty perfume scent. And I initially thought this didn't smell so much like Marc Jacobs Daisy, 
but on warm it kind of did on warm it was giving me that feel because that fruit note did die off so much and so you were left that with that kind of like daisy perfume type note and the only word i would use to describe this is perfumey it is a perfumey scent on warm it's very pretty um kind of an odd scent for the open layout maybe i'm not sure i kind of liked it i kind of think i'd prefer it in a bedroom or bathroom but it was very pretty it's kind of like a breezy perfumey feminine floral um the fruit did take a back seat more than i would have preferred on warm but it did all right and i did enjoy it and i will be happy to melt through the rest of this i would repurchase this brick if i didn't already own it um am i going to buy more of it now no I'm, I'm good with what i've got but if i had smelled this and then had to make a purchase decision i would have purchased this this is very nice um longevity wise and strength wise i would say it did reach a medium intensity in my open layout which made me happy um longevity was not so long it was less than 24 hours i would say like mm, like 14 hours so not the longest lasting bar or brick um but it was okay like if you put this in, in the morning it will last until evening no problem um but it's not going to be one that you get multiple days out of i'm pretty sure unless you turn your warmers off maybe but i do leave mine running 24 hours a day so um yeah overall this was solid it was a solid nice kind of spring summer brick i'm happy with it i will enjoy the rest of this and i can see why this is popular um performance was just kind of maybe average to slightly below average in longevity strength was about average longevity was slightly below average but overall not a remarkable performer either way it wasn't remarkably bad it wasn't remarkably good it was just somewhere in between for performance and the scent appeal for me is nice Next we have Summerberry Melon. This is one that I complained bitterly about on my cold sniffs. And again, I did this in the open layout, same way. I did two brick cubes cut in half and one half in each warmer. So Summerberry Melon is like cassava melon or cassava melon, strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple. And this one is, it's just kind of a like tart, generic berry scent. Um, and on warm, this became nearly indistinguishable to my nose from like raspberry hibiscus tea from the new releases so raspberry hibiscus tea like in the new in the catalog has elderberry raspberry and like hibiscus petal i think it is the hibiscus reads is very tart in that scent and that is what i get in here too there's no plumeria or hibiscus or sorry there's no hibiscus listed in the notes on here there's no florals at all listed in the notes but there is a body care or like slightly perfumey element to this and I wonder if it's not hibiscus because there is a real tartness to this on warm and it was nice but I kind of like that elderberry note in raspberry hibiscus tea so I think I might slightly prefer raspberry hibiscus tea. I do think this will be an easier scent to mix with so I like it for that reason and where raspberry hibiscus tea for me only lasted maybe like 12-ish hours in the open layout this one did give me a full 24 hours which made me quite happy for the type of scent that it is i did not expect to get 24 hours out of this particular scent because it doesn't smell all that strong on cold um and it doesn't seem like the kind of scent that would have the base notes to keep it going but for whatever reason it did and it didn't change over time what you smell out the gate is what you continue to get and it did reach about a medium in my open layout i would say even medium plus for the first like 12 hours or so and then like a medium for the last 12 hours this was good. Like, this was not bad. I will happily melt more of this. And this might even mean I buy less raspberry hibiscus tea this season. Because I'll just use this instead. So, overall, I think if you like raspberry hibiscus tea, you should give this a try. If you like berry scents in general, give it a try. Performance actually impressed me. So, I would say about a solid, like a hard average on performance. It was not even, it wasn't hovering near average. It was like at least a solid average, maybe a little bit better, um, but performance was good. Scent appeal was all right. Again, it's still, I still had higher hopes for this, but it is not bad on warm and I am gonna have fun mixing this on its own or with other things. So overall, if I smelled this now or warmed a sample, would I purchase this again? Yeah, I would have purchased this even after complaining so bitterly about it. Um, after I got this in the warmers, I was like, okay, like it's performing pretty well. Like it's pretty nice and strong. It gave me a full day. Can't complain. So I would repurchase this. I'm not going to buy more of it because I do have lots. But if I had melted a sample of this and had to make a decision at that point, I would, 
I would purchase this. Cucumber and cactus water. This is the one I had worn before, so I just did this in the bathrooms. I did half a brick cube in each bathroom, so I used one brick cube total. This one is, I think, like lush, lush greens or something like that. Um, cucumber and like sea salt. Yeah, this one is a sea salty, very lush green scent. And it stays exactly the same on warm. There is no change here on warm whatsoever to my nose. You do get the sea salt, you do get the cucumber. I think it's like a deep dark cucumber peel. And you get a lot of lush greens. That is what this is. Um, it is strong. It's not overly long lasting. So again, this one did about 24 hours. So it did last 24 hours. Um, and it was pretty strong out the gate, but then it did dip fairly quickly. I would say by like 10 to 12 hours, it was at least at least like half strength. Um, so it was okay. Is this a scent I would repurchase? No. If I smelled this, would I have purchased it if it wasn't part of the brick bundle? No, not personally. I do think if you're into those green scents, this is an especially good one. I think if you're into those green scents, this is one that I would recommend. I'm not into those green scents. This just isn't the type of scent that I reach for very often. But if you do, this is a good green scent. Um, one of the better ones since he's done, in my opinion. So there's that one. Um, I won't be getting more of it. And I'll probably take years to get through this. But there's that one. Orchard by the Sea. This is one that was probably my biggest surprise on cold. I really liked it on cold. I did it in the open layout. Two brick cubes. Again, half a brick cube in each warmer out here. This one, I can't remember the notes. I want to say like apple, what was in here? Apple, I think there was like cotton or something. Oh, this is pretty. I still get something cool in here. Okay, so this one you think aquatic probably. And it is, but it's such a different aquatic. This is like a fresh, like fruity, like a lot of fruity comes out on warm with this one. And that is what I like about this. This one has a hefty dose of fruit that stays very present on warm. I was kind of afraid that a ocean or aquatic note would take over and that the fruit would take a back seat. That did not happen here. Um, the fruit stayed nice and present. It was at least 50-50, at least 50-50 fruit to aquatic. Um, I really like this. The scent stayed pretty true to sniff on warm. I would say maybe more fruit came out. That nice cool tone that you smell on cold, I don't know if it's eucalyptus or like a tiny hint of mint, that stayed on warm. I really like this one. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, this one is what's in my warmers right now. It does need to be changed now as I'm sitting here. Um, it seemed to have died off in the last few hours, but this one did last a full 24 hours then. And it was a good, good solid like medium plus, I would say six or seven out of 10. I was sitting here thinking how nice this would be on like a hot day, like a very hot day, because it does have that nice sweet fruit. It's not cloying. It's kind of light in the air. Um, and it does have that slightly cooling feel to it. So I think this would be beautiful on a very hot day. If you live in a really hot climate, I think this would be perfect. And I'm going to be very excited to warm this throughout the summer. This was probably, yeah, this was my favorite of the bunch for sure. I would strongly recommend this. I might grab a second brick of this one. This would be the only one that I might repurchase. Um, but I will be very happy with what I have here for sure. Next we have Pink Apple Nectarine, last but not least. And this one I've done half a brick cube. I did it in my daughter's bedroom. And this one has been going for like three days now. This has been going since I filmed my cold sniffs. And it's on like day three. It's doing great. It's plugging along at like the same strength it was when it went in. So this seems to be one of those ones that just you set it and forget it as well which is what I like for like her bedroom especially. That's kind of nice, or a bathroom potentially. So this one is kind of a perfumey, it's a perfumey kind of like floral to my nose. Like I know there's poppy in the notes. I don't know that I smell poppy so much, but I do smell sweet pea, like for sure. It's not in the notes, maybe I'm crazy, but to my nose that is sweet pea through and through. Um, Nectarine, I don't get. My husband said he smelled nectarine in here. I do not. Um, apple, maybe. Like, maybe like a body care type apple. Um, overall, this, the feel in the room, performance-wise, is this is like a light medium scent. Um, it does fill the room. It just kind of has a nice background scent. It's kind of lightly sweet and perfumey. It's not overpowering. It's not like hit you in the face perfume. It's not a headache perfume to my nose. Um, everyone's really different that way. 
but to my nose this is what this would not be a headache scent um but it is a floral perfumey scent to my nose um so i think i was hoping for more fruity from this and i thought maybe more fruity would come out on warm it did not it is very much what you smell here is what you get on warm and it seems to be one of those ones that kind of goes at like a light medium but for days and days and days now another scent from scentsy that goes for days and days and days like that is a peeling apple that one is a stronger apple with that sweet pea note and that one goes for days and days and days too and everything that i've tried from scentsy that has sweet pea in it lasts for days and so i really really think that that might be the, the floral note they used in here i know they say it's poppy maybe they're really similar in fragrance oil i don't know um but to my nose this is very sweet pea and the performance makes me think sweet pea as well Overall, would I purchase this if I had just gotten a chance to warm a sample? No, I wouldn't have purchased this in a brick if I had just gotten a chance to warm it beforehand. This would be one I might have purchased one bar of, which you can do by putting any of these scents into your Scentsy Club on April 10th? April, yeah, April 10th. So April 10th, you can put these into your Scentsy Club and that way you can get a bar. So even if you don't have a Scentsy Club normally, if you start one, just like a monthly one, do a one-time order, you can do that. And you can get all five if you want. You can get multiple of one bar, none of the others, whatever you want to do. Um, but as far as a brick, I wouldn't have purchased this in a brick, knowing what I know now. That is just me. I think if you're a person who likes those kind of Bath & Body Works type scents that are kind of like fruity florals, if you're a fruity floral fan, I wouldn't skip this one. I think this one's good. It's a great performer. If you like one of those kind of light medium scents that just goes for days, this is one. Like, performance, I'm not complaining about. It's just not a scent for me. I'm going to have a hard time getting through a full brick of it. But it is kind of a nice, kind of crowd-pleasing scent. Um, and that's what I will say, is that when you think of things like Bath & Body Works, they're designed to be crowd-pleasing. Those are designed to sell to, like, a wide audience. They're designed that many people will like that scent. And that is what this is. This is designed in a way that it's going to appeal to many people. I'm just not one of those people. It's okay. It's not bad. It is fine. It's just, it's okay for me. Of course, if we had to rank, I guess we can do that. Um, if we have to rank, for me, fifth place is going to be Cucumber and Cactus Water, based only on scent appeal for me. This is very subjective. The performance on this isn't bad at all. There's nothing wrong with this scent. It's actually good as far as green scents go. Just based on scent appeal, for me, this is number five. Then number four, again, not based on performance, based on scent appeal alone, Number four is going to be Pink Apple and Nectarine. Those are the two that I probably wouldn't have purchased if I had to do things over. Third place is Summerberry Melon. And this one was hard to decide between this and Beach Daisy because Beach Daisy is another one that is kind of similar as far as performance and scent appeal go for me. And I would say this one performed quite a bit better than Beach Daisy. However, I think Beach Daisy is more unique, so it gets second place. This one gets third, and only because it's not a very unique scent. I think we have quite a few scents fairly similar to this, and we probably will again. Um, so this one gets third. Second place is Beach Daisy. Performance is okay, and it is a very unique scent. It's not quite like anything else I've smelled. It's a little similar to like Scarlet Sunflower, but like summery. Um, I haven't warmed Here Comes the Sunflowers to compare. Um, but it's kind of perfumey, kind of unique. I, I quite like this one. And my favorite is Orchard by the Sea. I've not smelled anything like this from Scentsy. This is quite unique. It's a standout. Performance is good. And I really, really like this. I think people who like fruity or fresh are going to be happy with this. Yeah, this one's just lovely. So that one I highly recommend. Unless you absolutely hate like aquatic scents. And I'm not a big aquatic scent person. Like I'm really not. Um, but this, with that, the level of fruit in here is what sells it for me. There's a lot of fruit, and that makes it, it just makes it. Along with that cool note, they've got a little bit of a cool note in there. Not sure what it is, but it's there, and it's lovely. I am very happy with that one. So that is the warm reviews of the Bricks and the Mother's Day bars. I'll now kind of just jump into the other random few things I have in this basket. Um, so if you want to leave now, this is, there's a couple scentsy things here. There's a couple vendor things. It's just a little few odds and ends I've warmed in my home over the last week or so. Um, also in my bathrooms, I have done Wisteria Waterfall. This one is beautiful. This one is from Region 3 New Zealand and Australia. And my friend Sara sent me this. This one is gorgeous. Now, this is not a scent I would normally go for. It is a strong, like, 
fairly strong floral. There's a little bit of a fresh note here. And I think what I'm finding is that florals that have fresh notes, I seem to tolerate better. I'm thinking like Showered and Flowers, Thunderstorm, Flower Shop, Wisteria Waterfall. Those are all florals that I like and they all have a fresh note in them. So I think that's the key for me. Um, this one's very strong, kind of heady, kind of powdery. You would think headache in a bar, but no, somehow, somehow not. The thing I like to do with this is put it in bathrooms and I do one cube in each bathroom and this will go for like a week. This will go for ages, like pretty much until you get sick and tired of it. It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. So one bar goes a very long way. If you live in region three or can get your hands on this, I would recommend it. It's a very good one. So thank you, Sara. She also sent me another one. So I have a backup of this one as well. Whoop. So I think I pretty much have a lifetime supply of Wisteria Waterfall, but I really enjoy that one. Performance is outstanding. Like one of the best I've ever, one of the best waxes in general for performance I've ever used. Um, then we have a Mountain Sunset. Did this in the bedroom a while back. I just have really been into this one. I just feel find myself wanting to reach for it, find myself craving the scent. I really like it. This one is Bluebell, Coconut, and I think Warm Woods. It's very soft, creamy. I would say there's vanilla in here probably too. It's soft, creamy, cozy, cuddly, warm, with just a tiny hint of floral. Like the floral here is just very soft and pretty and feminine. It's beautiful. And this is another one that goes for quite some time at a nice light medium level. Perfect for the, for the bedroom. Then we have a couple vendor waxes here. We have Happy Birthday Pumpkin. And this is from my friend Becky from Harper James. This is pumpkin spice, vanilla cream, birthday cake, and marshmallow frosting. This I did in my daughter's room. I had one little cube left. So my daughter wanted this one. So I was like, okay, I'll part with my last cube of Happy Birthday Pumpkin. This one's nice. It's like a gentle spice cake. Think like walnut raisin or um, banana nut bread, that kind of spice cake without the banana. So just that kind of warm spice cake scent. Um, yeah, and like sweetness, like a lot of sweet. It's just sweet and delicious. That was wonderful. I would repurchase that next fall for sure. Then we'd have Rocky Point Treats from Ella After Wax Co. This is a Canadian vendor I ordered from some time ago. And this one is mixed berries, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. My daughter wanted to warm this one, so we did this one. This was like a fancy ice cream cone. This was so good. This one was like fancy waffle cone with like nice like creamery style like hard ice cream like mixed berry like raspberry blueberry strawberry all mixed in there from like stole cone creamery or whatever it is stone cold stone slab what stone slab doesn't sound right that sounds terrible no cold stone cold stone that's the one cold stone creamery we don't have those in these parts so it's been a long time since i've been to the big city to have good ice cream um this one is good this is like fancy ice cream. So waffle cone with like delicious mixed berry ice cream. Um, scent appeal through the roof. Love this one. Strength about medium. In my open layout I use the full muffin. It's like a little like muffin tin thing. Cut into four chunks and a chunk in each warmer. Um, it was about a 24 hour one. It could have maybe gone a bit longer but it was really dying off. And um, yeah this one wasn't as long, lost, long, long lasting as some of them but it was very good and I would repurchase this. I believe this is a scent they generally have available. I think it's on their website right now, last time I checked. So Rocky Point Treats is a good one. I would buy that again. Then I did a little bit of IHOP. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. And this is from my friend Becky. I did two cubes of this in the office. And this one I threw in and then I went to my mom's house on like Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday night I went to my mom's house for dinner with Amelia, then we came home and like, as soon as I walked in the front door, I had other stuff going in the open layout, but as soon as I walked in the front door, this is what I smelled, like from the office, like down the hallway. So this one is a very strong performer and this one's so good. Um, this is like nutty, creamy, coffee, creamy deliciousness. Love that one. And that one I do have a fair amount of, but it would be a repurchase if I ran out. Um, yeah. That's what I've warmed over the last little while. There's a couple exceptions. I did a little bit of other vendor wax too. I'm not sure where they went. He might have put them in my empties bin. He wouldn't have thrown them out because he knows better than that, but he might have put them in my empties bin for me. So we'll find out that fairly soon because it's almost the end of the month. So that is my warm reviews on the bricks and the Mother's Day stuff. 
Again, Mother's Day is available April 1st. The bricks are available April 10th. And I would love to hear your thoughts on those when you get them or hear what you're planning to pick up, what you're most excited about, or if you've smelled them and warmed them already, what worked for you, what didn't work for you, and all of that good stuff. If you have any mix suggestions, I would love to hear those below as well, especially for um, wildflower cotton. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.